Never mind, two times. You're l- 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 listening to b- 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 Bud Boys r- r- Radio. Action, motherfucker. All right, I did it too. None of this matters. I'm just... yeah, who, who, where are we starting? <laughs> From your slate or mine? It doesn't matter. I don't know. I'm doing it. I'm just making you go through the motions. I like it. I'm yeah. into it. Okay, yeah. we're recording. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Should I get off the... Just get off the call. <laughs> Leave. Yeah, should, should I go? <laughs> This is my podcast. And should I get out of here or what? Oh, <clears throat> nice. See, I'm the only one on video right now. Is that yeah, it? I'm not doing video because um, for a variety of reasons. Because you're ugly? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for one reason. <laughs> you're ugly and you are self-conscious about yourself. Yeah, sort of. No, it's because I have to have my... Oh, did you already get kicked out? No, I just stopped the video. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm ugly too. <laughs> this I is going well. Ugly. Mm-hmm. What'd you yeah, have for lunch? I made a uh, hamburger from a good hamburger? food. Hamburger? Yeah, from did good you, food. Did, did you like put it together yourself? Did it just come with like ground beef and stuff, and then you like made the actual hamburger? Yeah, man. I got in there. I <clears throat> took out the beef, licked it, licked it raw. Yeah, and licked I had it to, raw. Uh, yeah, I'd, um, throw the spice in there. It's all pretty easy. They set it up pretty nicely for That's you. That's nice, dude. Do you yeah. have to like use a cracked egg to get the burger to stick together? No, I, none of the recipes have called for any eggs, oddly. So I don't know uh, what kind of uh, planning you did ahead of time or what you want to do. <clears throat> I haven't done I was raking the, I was raking the leaves all morning and thinking uh, about my what house and I, I yeah, so I'm going <laughs> to no, I wrote down a couple things. Yeah, I wrote down some things and then but that was like days ago. And then now I don't want to talk about any of that stuff. I wrote down a funny idea of like, um, <clears throat> like the idea of like, uh, you know how when you propose to a girl, everyone asks afterwards, so they go like, oh, how did he propose to you? Yeah. I was thinking like, it'd be really funny to do something really fucking dumb and stupid so that <laughs> when she, when they ask her like how she, pro- she like can't tell them how they, she has to make up a story because the real one's so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. <laughs> like you're like fucking her in the ass and then like a mariachi band comes out of the, <laughs> comes out of the closet and you're like are you gonna marry me <laughs> but she you, you like she obviously loves you so much that she's gonna say yes yeah you just put her in the like awkward predicament <laughs> yes now <laughs> oh he was fucking raw dogging me in the ass and then a mariachi band came out and started That's playing awesome. elvis costello <laughs> or if she's sick ask her ask her when she's sick <laughs> yeah <laughs> You bring, her, <laughs> you bring her like some ki- some chicken noodle soup in bed yeah. and like, so uh, maybe you should marry, we should get married. Right? Will you marry me? And if she says, then if she says yes, she's like, all right, well, you got to give me that soup back. I got to give you one that doesn't have fucking poison and dog shit in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me take that. <laughs> you're you're not going to want that. I'll make you a better one. Tell, ask her when you're getting, uh, like get a COVID test and ask her. Yeah, while it, well, like while the the swab is in my schnoz. Yeah, yeah, exactly. At that, that precise moment. Ah, you should marry me. <clears throat> I 
I like. Have that. you been tested? Yeah, I got tested. Um, <clears throat> it's funny. I got tested right before we hung out last week. Actually, that's funny. Yeah, good, thing, I had you, good a, thing you didn't get tested right after we hung out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I should have flipped it. I'm probably I'm probably dying as we speak. <laughs> they might they might have found some surprises in that nose. Oh yeah, uh, no, <laughs> I left something in there for you <laughs> for your troubles. Yeah. <laughs> The we're prices about have gone up. That'll be eighty dollars. <laughs> we're talking about boogers. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, I've also been thinking about. Um, yeah, isn't what is it in the Constitution or something where it's like don't covet thy neighbor's wife? What is that? I don't. I don't. I think it's in the Bible. I don't think it's in the Constitution. <laughs> Don't covet thy neighbor's wife. And I don't even know if that's in the. I don't know. It's vaguely familiar. I get it, right? It's Should like, we don't, Google it? Yeah, don't fuck your neighbor's wife. Yeah, I was think because I was thinking today because there's this uh, older lady that lives a couple houses down the street, and there she's been like kind of a bitch to my mom in the past. Yeah. But recently she was like uh, talking to me about my terrariums, and uh, I was like, I think this girl would would probably fuck me. And then How old is uh, she? on, she's probably like sixty something. But I don't, okay. I have the, like, I really want to fuck an old person. Yeah. <laughs> like older than that. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so, and then on Halloween she was wasted and she was like acting like a, like a drunk college girl who like was trying to fuck guys. You know what oh. I mean? And she gave me like a bunch of weed and I was like, maybe I could fuck her. But then I was thinking about like her husband finding out <laughs> and he only has to walk <laughs> like two doors over to come kill me in this, in the night. Yeah, and then you're like, well, thank God it says that in the Constitution, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ooh, thank God for that. Don't covet thy neighbor's wife. Yeah, don't cuck thy neighbor's wife. Yeah, don't post fo- don't post cuckold photos of thy neighbor's wife on Reddit. Why? Like, when did why did they have to make that a rule in the Bible? Like, with some, where people really just I guess people were fucking yeah. the shit out of each other's wives all I the think time. Definitely, it's chaos. Probably, yeah, it's probably a good time though. Yeah. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male or female servant, his <laughs> ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Exodus 2017. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coveting your fucking donkey, buddy. I love it. It just sounds like a trail off, like a run on sentence. It of sounds like, like just <laughs> don't fuck with your neighbor, please. <laughs> Whoever wrote it really was getting cucked out so hard yeah. by the neighbor. Like, he t- not only did he take my house and my bitch, he took my ox and my donkey. Yeah, this was a personal DM. <laughs> to the bull who was fucking yeah. his wife. I love it. It just ends with, you know what? Don't even covet anything that belongs to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't even touch any of my shit anymore. Just leave me alone, jerk. Yeah, stop fucking my donkeys and my oxes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a personal letter. Yeah, for sure. And then they took those stone... It was a stone tablet, because back then they had to uh, send it to people via stone tablets. The, yeah, mail, the mailman would have back-breaking <laughs> fucking problems of his whole life. Because yeah. they're just delivering stone tablets. Yeah, he had like 30 slabs. All day long. Yeah, like Death Stranding on his back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just walking down a mountain, fucking flipping back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, what, man. What the fuck is playing? Uh, slow Dive? Or no, it's not that band. Some Something like that. Yeah, some indie band. Is it, what, in the soundtrack? Yeah, who is that? Who's like, all, like did like all the 90% of the music of that game? That's something to Google, bud. Yeah. We better fact check this. We better fact check I'm going to say it's it. Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> <laughs> We've yeah, been spending most our lives living in an Amish paradise. <laughs> Fucking that, love him. That game should have had a, like, custom... You shouldn't have been able... Like, there should be, like, a music player in that game. Yeah, that I wish there was like customizable options for your player so that you didn't have to look like the fucking idiot from Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah <I> wanna... <laughs> like a fucking monster energy drink hat. <laughs> I want to. game is so weird. Yeah, it's the. I just got it back from uh, um, Brendan. Oh, nice. Were you yeah. gonna say you want to do what? I can't remember. A better actor in there. Yeah, I don't know who. Jeff Bridges. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to carry all this shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I like that uh, Nicholas Winding Revan is in it. Yeah, and Conan O'Brien. There's some really good cameos. Yeah. I told it's you that a... I met uh, Guillermo del, del Toro. Toro. Yeah. In the airport. Yeah, on the way going to... to... Going to L.A.? Yeah. Tell me about it. What did he say? Did you he tell was... him to watch Robo Greaser? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you should really check out our YouTube channel. It has 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, <laughs> watch the You're a Pedophile video. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. How, how does he sound? He sounds kind of Mexican, right? Yeah, yeah. He's so nice. But, um, yeah, it was so funny. I was looking at reviews for the game because I guess the reviews were just coming out that day or something. And I was just scrolling through the reviews because I uh, like bored, like waiting for the flight. And uh, I look up and he's right. He's like sitting right in front of me and he's like eating like just like it looks like a plate of mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to ask if he was eating. That's immediately uh, that I knew it was him. <laughs> Oh, he's eating food. <laughs> yeah, he like yeah. I was at uh, like the airport <clears throat> restaurant. Not only is he fat, but he's also eating food. That's Guillermo. Yeah, that's Guillermo. That's definitely Guillermo. <laughs> Guillermo, dude. It's Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo. And then, like ten minutes later, I was waiting at the gate, like to board. And there's like I hear this commotion. I look behind me, and like an airport uh, security guy is driving him in like a caddy. Yeah. Like to the <clears throat> gate. It was really cool. He had like a private escort. Fuck yeah, you don't want to walk through that airport. No. It sucks. I don't think time, he walks either. No, you don't need to. He just gets like weird fucking alien creatures to carry his fat ass everywhere. <laughs> but like yeah. they're the ones with like eyeballs on their hands. Yeah. They're just crawling on all fours and they can't see because their eyes are on their hands. Yeah, everything and they're bumping like, into walls. Oh, look, it's he won an Oscar, that man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So <clears throat> about uh, having like personal escorts driving you around places. When I was at uh, in Ottawa for a Hamilton Tiger Cat game. Uh, it was like a playoff game and I was just loaded the whole time I was doing like a fake ta- patois. I was calling like I was calling the other team like bumba clots and stuff. And they, <laughs> there was like these two Jamaican guys behind me. And I thought I didn't realize until like the last quarter of the game that they were sitting behind me the whole time. Oh, and I'm like, no. you fucking batty boy, bumba clot. Oh, <laughs> and no. then, but I turned around, they were laughing at me. They loved oh, it. Really? They liked it. Yeah. So I gave them some high fives and kept kept on doing it. But like, after the game, after the game, um, there were, I saw a guy in a golf cart sitting up at the top and you have to like kind of walk down this huge ramp to get out of the stadium. And I was like, hey, buddy, I've got gout. I had beers in both of my hands. I was like, <laughs> I got really bad gout. You think you could drive me down there? And he's like, uh, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, I got gout. It's hard for me to walk. <laughs> and so he let me sit on the back of his golf cart and I we drove by my friends that I was with and they're all and I was like laughing at them with beers in my hands, like a chugging beers. That's so fucking awesome. Is that when you were working in Ottawa? Yeah, and then I ended up getting gout. <laughs> After that night, I ended up getting gout. and then it's like I, a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, but back then I was basically trying to get gout because I just wanted to stay home all day and play Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. So I'd like go out to Ottawa, get gout, and then spend the whole week out there just playing Red Dead Redemption <laughs> while all my the guys I lived with were working all day. That's wait. Did they know of your goals to get gout? No. I'd be no, jealous. That's a pretty fucked up thing to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty gross. Yeah, I'm like you, a bug chaser with gout. Yeah. You were not healthy around then, I remember. No, oh, no, no. Nothing was going right then. <clears throat> and he, thankfully, everything's going fine now. <laughs> yeah, everything's beautiful. Oh, uh, you're supposed to laugh. <laughs> I thought you'd laugh at that. <laughs> I did laugh. <laughs> It's so fucked because like I've um, I used to always make jokes about living in my mom's basement. I'm like, they're oh, like, no. oh, where do you live? I'm like, in my mom's basement. Yeah, we should intro it right now. This is the this is our first podcast, and Eli's in his basement. Well, I'm in a basement too. Yeah, but you, you're paying. It's not my for mom's. It. Thank no, God. it's independent. You get you're living your life. You're doing good. Uh, you got a it's, girlfriend. It's indie. <laughs> yeah, man. I like set. It's so funny. I always get so scared when I set up spaces like this in my parents' house because I always, like, like lately I've had so much anxiety about just, like, dying, like, at my yeah. parents' house. And I see, like, all my childhood shit surrounding me and, like, all these, like, and it's, like, I'm, like, setting up my own, like, throne, my throne of death. Right. <laughs> and it's, yeah. it's like a shrine of everything that yeah. I've accumulated over my lifetime. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, a, it's slowly turning into, like, a wake yeah, <laughs> pretty soon there's going to be one person dressed in black there. Yeah. A week later, a couple more. I'm like, yeah. okay, I know what's going on here. Your friends are just showing up in suits. <laughs> Taking my shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, he said I could have this. They don't even see me anymore. Yeah. I've been dead the whole time. That is fucking terrifying. Mm-hmm. I remember I started thinking that. No, that's a common feeling because I, when... Uh, like last year around this time, I was thinking that, like, is this going to be the last place I live? Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know. Yeah, I've got super uh, anxiety recently. I don't know why. It's it like won't every, be. You'll be all like, right. I think I just, it's so funny. I think I just need a new mattress. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then every, all my problems will go away. I'm sleeping on this dog shit mattress. Yeah. I wake just, up. You're not getting proper sleep. sleep. You just need a Casper. No, yeah. And on the weekends, it's like, because I'll just booze it up with my parents. And then I just pass out on the couch upstairs and wake up at like 6 a.m. Because my yeah. clock, my mind clock is still going. Right. So I'll just wake up hungover, feeling like shit at 6 a.m. And just go lay in bed and fucking watch YouTube for three hours. And that's what my life's been like. It's, you know, Good. you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> no, at least I got YouTube. There's yeah. kids in Africa that don't have YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, at least you're entertained. <laughs> I used to say that all the time with the, like my ex. I'd always be like, um, I'd be like, you know what? There's because she'd like, you know, maybe throw out some bad food or something. And I'd be like, there's kids in Africa that don't get to eat uh, cream cheese, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and she'd be like, you know, like there's a lot of places in Africa where <laughs> like things are pretty good, I guess. Yeah. It's not all of Africa. <laughs> no, it's just some dumb, like it's because I just grew up as a kid. That was such a common. Yeah, it's like a, all, it's a good mentality, I guess. All the dumb jokes were always about how they had nothing. How like you know, it would always be generalized Africa. It wouldn't be like it wouldn't specifically say like a country. Yeah, all those jokes like Ethiopian food. Like, what do we? I don't yeah. even remember them. But well, yeah, there was the stupid one. Like, what? Uh, like, what? Did you hear about Evil Knievel's newest stunt? He like uh, drove through Ethiopia with a sandwich attached to his motorcycle or something like that. Something really stupid. <laughs> Really dumb shit. <laughs> I've yeah. never heard that. Oh man, those are like <clears throat> those those fucking jokes would just go around my school like crazy. And then there's like Starvin Marvin from fucking yeah, South Park. South Park, yeah. <clears throat> they don't really fuck with that <laughs> with that no. joke anymore, do they? No, I think it'll return though. <laughs> I think the I think everything's gonna get goofy again. I hope. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's the optimist in me. They have a new thing where they, it's like a new YouTube show or something where it's all deep fake. It's like the late, like a YouTube official show. I don't know if it's YouTube. I just watched it on YouTube, but it's like uh, this guy doing fake news reports and it's like deep fake Donald Trump, but he's like clearly a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> it's really stupid. Does he look like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, they, are you talking well, about the South Park guys? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like a new yeah. show they have where it's all deep fake shit. Yeah, my stepdad uh, sent me that. It was fucking very confusing. Yeah, because I didn't realize till like five minutes in that it was a deep fake. Your stepdad sent that to you? Yeah, he thought it was the funniest thing in the world. It, you know, it's kind of funny, I guess. Yeah, I was like, it's kind of funny. <laughs> you know what? It's stepdad funny. Yeah, exa exactly. <laughs> oh, you got, I can't wait to chain mail this to all my golf buddies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, my dad still like he gets so many chain mails from like it's like something that has never stopped for the old people with internet. At and, least like, your parents don't believe in uh, QAnon. <laughs> I might take that out. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> what well, your mom the... gonna watch this? <laughs> she might listen. Well, she I think she's like a she's like I'll post it on Facebook. I don't like she's proud of it. I'm like all right. It's like a it. You know what it is? It's um. It's like virtual reality for boomers, I guess. What is QAnon and stuff? Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's like playing out everyone's... It's like a way for everyone to get the... Like, there's different types of fear. There's like the fear of dying and like anxiety and stuff. But then there's like the fear of like the world going to shit in like an apocalyptic yeah. kind of cool way that is kind of exciting because you're like, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, there's like something really in, uh, enticing about that of like spooky people, like puppeteers in the shadows... Yeah, uh, it's like yeah. What, it's like ghosts, right? It's like ghosts for old people. They're like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, there's yeah. a fucking liberal <laughs> sex cult. <laughs> I, I, I want my mom to get like a oh, what are those reader like those fucking the the ghost reader like meters? What are those called? Uh, yeah, I forget what they're called. E yeah, get one e for pedophiles, like and she's just walking around my neighborhood. Like, <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> It's, she's pointing at a dog. It's my it's my fucking stepdad's uh, bedroom. Yeah, right when she turns it on, it explodes. The it's whole fucking, the entire house explodes. It's fucking human trafficking ring right out of your fucking house. Yeah. But yeah, like we have like I'm like, hey, mom, dad, you guys believe in ghosts? They're like, no. Do you believe in Bill Clinton fucking trafficking Haitian ladies, little girls from Haiti? Because that's yep. real, right? And that's scary. That's something that actually scares me. That keeps me up at night. <laughs> yeah. 
What is that? There's like some new computer game uh, about ghost hunting. Phasmophobia? Oh, I don't know. Is it? You like don't know a, that? It, it's like a Steam game that was created by one guy, I think. Oh, yeah? And it's like a four-player online co-op like horror game where you basically your team goes into a house and you're trying to find a ghost. That sounds it, awesome. Fuck. It it does sound and it like it seems like it takes elements from like PT and like amnesia and stuff, but there's like I think there's like different techniques you can use to try and draw out this spirit and stuff like that. And oh my I, god. The idea is to like accumulate evidence without dying. <laughs> basically. That's, that sounds awesome. We yeah, get, it's got yeah, like a get per- this. It's got like a perfect 10 out of 10 rating on Steam and apparently Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, overwhelmingly uh, positive. Yeah, but it's only on PC, right? And my fucking PC is li- it's Yeah, we know shit. that. We it's it's ch- it's barely making it just to do this. <laughs> I know. I might I might have to take this to Dr. Dan. Shout out to Dr. Dan. I might have to take it to him to get all the fucking AIDS off this computer. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I never do anything good like, with computers. Like Hunter Biden's laptop. I hope he sells it to the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, dude, I I think my computer has like 8 STDs because I don't ever I download things like willy-nilly I use the sketchiest. I use like Juarez websites from 1999 to download fucking Smash Mouth MP3s. <laughs> like, obviously, there's a there's a lot of viruses on this computer. Yeah, you have a virus from 1997 from Napster yeah. on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I miss those days. You'd be trying to download like an Iron Maiden song, and it would just be like fucking gay porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I was so. I was so obsessed with, um, I don't know who did this, but like someone was making like Dragon Ball Z like music videos. Yeah. I was such a gay kid. I would just download those and like, like act them out. And I was, and I was not that young. I was like 12. Yeah, you're, like, <laughs> you're like 18, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you'd tell all your friends you're into like Joy Division and partying and skateboarding, but then you'd just go back to your I'd go dorm home. and yeah, do yeah, like yeah. pre TikTok <laughs> Dragon Ball Z dances. Yeah, I'd empty like half a bottle of gel in my hair and spike it. <laughs> Fucking dippity do. <laughs> yeah. Remember dippity do? I do. My brother used dippity do for <laughs> like well into his 30s. <laughs> Is, does it still exist? I, I don't know. I assume so. But That's like, like the clear gel, like the. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's just like, you know, it's like hair gel for kids. It like doesn't right. do a good job, you know, yeah, yeah, it, does, yeah. it does what it's supposed to do. But I so I guess that is a good thing. I don't know. It's, an it's honest, like a cheap yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, like you were saying about doing dances to drag, I used to, when I first got a CD player, I used to borrow my brother's like Spice Girl CDs and just like dance in the mirror to Spice Girls. Like stop right now. Really? Thank you very- oh yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> my dad would probably, <laughs> You know, probably be stoned or something. Your dad's like, fuck, I have two gay sons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's trying to he's trying to intercept the transfer of the compact disc from my yeah. brother to me. <laughs> Stop lending your little brother CDs. Yeah, no, but so I was dancing in my room, like probably no shirt, just in my underwear when I was like 11. Yeah. To the Spice Girls. And my dad would, I like, he would just like burst open the door and go, ah! <laughs> Just scream at me and scare the shit out of me, and I'd like start screaming. <laughs> he was trying to scare the gay out of me, <laughs> but he just scared it right into me. Yeah, he scared it back in. Yeah, oh it's man, a good strategy. It's so funny. I yeah, good stuff. That is good stuff. You had me thinking when you were talking about uh, that. Um, when you're in Ottawa doing the Jamaican accent. Yeah, not realize. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not realizing uh, there's a couple Jamaicans behind you. <clears throat> yeah, I was with Adrian uh, yesterday. We were talking about uh, fucking. We used to work at Rona, like hardware. Yeah, yeah, I know Rona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know why I did this. I we were working like out front of the store, and just some middle aged like gentleman came up and asked where like the sod was. And I was like, oh, it's right here. And then I turned to Adrian. pointed to your cock. <laughs> I don't know I got why. I your sod right here, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking weakened warrior. <laughs> I don't know why I did this, though, but then I turned to Adrian and I just immediately go, you fucking idiot. And Adrian immediately went, be- I guess I assumed the guy immediately like walked inside the store and he was l- still literally right behind me. Oh, nice. Yeah. He didn't care. He didn't. Nothing happened. <clears throat> 
Well, I, uh, at work one time, um, this we had to go to this house because the previous technicians or whatever that were there like fucked up this guy's siding and stuff, and he was like really pissed. And so my boss was like, oh, be careful. This guy is a real asshole. He was being really rude, blah, blah, blah. And we're like, okay, let's see what happens, right? Yeah. And we pull up. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's good. To, glad you guys are here to fix this. The last guys were, that were here were fucking idiots, and they fucked it all up. Yeah. And uh, he's asking me, because <clears throat> we had to pull, like, a cable underground. He's like, how do you um, how do you guys get that cable underground? And I was like, oh, we, uh, we glue it to a worm's ass, and the worm crawls to the other side of the pole over there. And he stopped, and he didn't say anything. And I was like, I'm sorry. And then he just started laughing. He started laughing so hard. He's like, this guy's fucking funny. This guy's a jokester. <laughs> oh, worms, that's funny. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I wouldn't know what to do if someone pulled, like, especially a joke like that. Like, if, the guy, if someone installing my internet said that, like, I would have half mine to laugh and half mine to call the police. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This guy's not installing the internet. No. This guy's no, going to rape me. <laughs> and I did. I raped him. I raped him. Said, he's like, how are you going to rape me? I said, well, you can get this little worm that crawls through your fucking ass and out your fucking mouth. He's like, he is a jokester. This guy's really funny. Ow. Oh, God. <laughs> That's awesome. No, it was consensual. It was consensual. I'm not a raper. That was, was that in Ottawa again? No, nope, that was in Hamilton. Right. Mm, I think so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, man. Oh, Auto yeah. was dark times, bro. Yeah. Do you feel better being working back in Hamilton? Um. Yeah, I still do. You, well, you don't like working. Ha- well, it's based out of Hamilton, but you're not yeah. often in Hamilton, right? Yeah. No. 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 I. Yeah. This I is the pick, riveting stuff. People want to hear about. Your you want to know about how blue I collar do job? <laughs> I work my blue collar job. Well, what I do is I wake up and I brew a pot of Folgers and I look at my kids while they're sleeping. <laughs> I pet little Tommy on the forehead. I kiss little Susie on the neck, and then I pour my Folgers. I make myself a nice hot breakfast, and then I load up my pickup truck say say goodbye to my doggy named doug <laughs> let doggy look dougie out for a shit <laughs> and then I, and then i cruise to work listening to the fucking oldies smoking cigarettes and i get to work and <laughs> then i punch my boss in his cock and fu- <laughs> no i don't know anyway no, I, yeah. I definitely don't punch my boss in his cock no if anything it's the opposite yeah i'm working they're punching the me in the cock with my taxes <laughs> I realized I didn't. In, I like did a terrible job introing this. N- not that uh, it needs. It's, there's like thirty people are going to listen to this. I'm assuming for the first no, time. I, well, hopefully nobody listens. <laughs> hopefully nobody <laughs> listens to this one. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, this one's like to get the jitters out. I think this one's going to be fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah, this one. It's a, uh, uh, a banger. Yeah, it's a banger. Instant so my classic. Name, my name on Zoom is Cum Dickler, and I don't Cum remember Dickler. doing that. We're the new Cum Town because Cum Town's gone. Come town yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Sam Hyde is come town too. Sam Hyde is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, it's like all the really funny motherfuckers. <laughs> Alex Trebek is dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's also a very funny, uh, you know, yeah, rude um, boy. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's like kind of set everything up so that we can take over. You yeah, know? we're yeah, exactly. We're taking the there's a power vacuum. It's been our plan the whole time. Exactly. Just, yeah, we've been biding our yeah, time. Now, <laughs> and now, now, now we we're just ready. got now, now we, we just, just got to hope Eric Andre gets cancer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know. I haven't watched the new Eric Andre. Oh, I've been watching it like crazy. Looks really funny. It's, it's good. So fucking funny. You know, it just feels so <clears> like <throat> I don't know. It just feels com- like if it feels comfortable to be watching new episodes of Eric Andre. Like I yeah, love show. I have a very like fond memories of when I um, like. I think you showed me that show and uh, just like being um, hung over on blow yeah, still living in my mom's. And it was like the time where blow hangovers, like it just felt like they just kind of rolled off your shoulders. Like they weren't that bad. And I was just would spend the whole afternoon like uh, on my laptop. How? Yeah, it was, it was awesome. like a good doing blow was like a good you just did it because you knew that the next day you could write it off and just yeah, like, I'm gonna easily. watch vi- I'm gonna watch movies and videos all day. So yeah, that's why, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm doing the drugs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can handle this. Whereas yeah, now I get fucked if I uh, it's too much. 
I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Agree to disagree there. <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, I just don't, I don't know anything about that. Mm, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? My grandma's yeah. going to be listening to this. Right. Up there in the, up there in heaven. <laughs> well, th- this is a, co- th- you know, we're just joking. None of this mean, you know, it's all lies. They're called bits for a fucking reason. Yeah, that was a bit. That was, <laughs> yeah. that was my fa- very famous bit of being hung over watching Eric Andre. I only, did, I only did a bit. <laughs> I only did a bit. Just a little bit. I just did a little bit and I was fine. <laughs> I was fine. <clears throat> I um, One guy I worked with, he was uh, <clears throat> going up to a cottage for a bachelor party. Fucking super spreader COVID party. And nice. um, he was uh, talking about how <laughs> he's like, there's only 15 of us going up, but like, all of us are bringing our own blow up. I'm like, so what? You're going to have 15 different dealers blow in one remote cabbage cabin in fucking Perry Sound. I'm like, here, take this naloxone kit. <laughs> and I gave it to him and he's like, no, I'm scared. No, I don't want to do coke. I'm like, you're just help. Like, you're just. Oh, my per- God. <laughs> it's the safe thing to do, dude. <laughs> We're being very cautious. Only 15 of us are only 15 of us are doing blow and only 10 of us will overdose. (laughs) And we got it for 15 different sources and like the overdoses and like the fentanyl shit going on right now is crazy. That's fucked. We got to think of a name for this podcast. Well, the tentative name was butt boys, but we can definitely come up with something. What about clown syndrome? Clowns. I like that. Because we're funny. We're funny. And that's a joke. Then that's we're clowns. Get it? I'm just clowning around. We have a syndrome where we can't stop clowning around. <laughs> Post-traumatic <Yeah>. clown syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they came back from the war and <laughs> things were a little different for them. Yeah, they just, they, they don't know how to read a room with their humor. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you have any other ideas for names? No, I, um, fuck, I thought I'd written down some, but then, no, I'm just realizing you had sent me some. Yeah, what about New Jersey sex robot? I like that. New Jersey what? sex robot. What, where is that? Uh, I'm trying to find. You sent me like a list. That's going to be impossible to find. New Jersey sex robot's good. It's interesting. I mean, yeah. maybe not. I don't know. No. Come, come <clears throat> These town, are all. Come Town 2 is funny. <laughs> <laughs> 2.0. <laughs> uh, fuck. You had some good ones. Yeah, I'm trying to find them in my phone. Like, oh. oh my- <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. I, I all may of have them. spoke too soon. I think I found them. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. Maybe not. Those are. Uh, I was going through some tough times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fuck I'm not going to say that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, wet anal. It? Fat people suck. My mom's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and these aren't even the names yet. Dakota's just having some fucking Tourette's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a different note. I don't know what that is. Ignore that. Oh, fuck. We should call it the Spice Melange. The Spice Melange? Shout out to Dune. Shout out. The Spice Herbert. Melange. Wait, doesn't... Okay, <laughs> so they call it um, Spice Melange, right? Yeah. And so I'm just trying to... Th- uh, it just means mixed. <laughs> it just means mixed spice. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking pretentious name. Yeah, I know. They make it sound like it's something really special. It's like, ah, it's just mixed spice. It's yeah. just a little oregano. <laughs> yeah. Paprika. Wait, that's an herb, but you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. It's just paprika and cayenne. Yeah. It's the spice melange. I love that. Fuck, that book is, yeah. was so good. Yeah, it was amazing. I'm so glad yeah. I read it. Yeah. Because like, I'm so, usually I'm so when, glad you can read. Yeah, well, I tried. <laughs> But like usually when people recommend books or they're like excited about books and voice their excitement, yeah. I usually I'm like, eh, fuck it. And like I was just getting into reading and I was like, Dune's the most popular sci-fi book of all time. Like, fuck that. I'm going to read like the weird stuff so I can be yeah. fucking pretentious about it. Mm-hmm. And then when I went to visit Sam in November, I think he was like, yeah, Dakota's been talking about Dune. Like, maybe I'll read that. And I'm like, oh, Sam's not going to read it too. Maybe I should check it out. And then oh, I fucking that's... jumped balls deep all over it. It was so good. I recommended a, a bunch of books to Sam recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, uh, fucking uh, one he was obsessed with, Ghost Wars. It's about like, I oh, guess. Oh. Yeah, it's like the it. proxy, the like the conflict in the Middle East leading up to uh, 9-11. It's really good. Yeah, it sounds really good. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. What about Beta Cuckology? <laughs> yeah, that's a runner-up recommendation. 
Lobo Tommy. <clears throat> Lobo Tommy. Man, <laughs> I, got, I just found a note. I just found a note in my phone. It says, "Man doing poppers, <clears throat> the coronavirus cure." <laughs> and then it says underneath, "Maybe poopers." He's doing poopers. <laughs> Next thing is Cokehead COVID-19. Cokehead COVID-19. <laughs> and man with kangaroo pouch. <laughs> I wrote these at 7 a.m. <laughs> like, was, was this I, today? I, no, this is May 2020. Sick. <laughs> it's so stupid. I know. Sometimes I, I go it. through our notes and it's fucking... Some are funny and some I have no... And some I write next to them. I'm like, you'll know what this means. And yeah. I have no fucking idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's one? I used to, when I was drunk, I used and get in arguments with girls that I was dating. I would yeah. write down my version, my, like I, I would write down my points and be like, "This is why you got in an argument, and this is why you guys are mad at each other right now." Wait, 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 wait! You would do this when you're after the after the argument was over, and I'd be like laying in bed fuming. You know what I mean? And right. Like, it'd be like it'd like I'd already fucked it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do like a post mortem on the argument and like. I would because I knew I'd forget why we argued in the first place the next morning because I was so drunk. And so <laughs> and so I would write down while I was drunk the reason why I started the argument and the reason why I think I'm right. <laughs> this is like what they recommend people with like onset, like deme- like Alzheimer's and dementia. <laughs> like, yeah. To I stay anchored to reality. <laughs> yeah. I have fucking alcoholic Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, and all my points were so stupid. It's like oh she's trying God. to change you. <laughs> it's like yeah, because you're a fucking dumb drunk and you're fucking rude yes. and piece of shit. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck, so, there's nothing worse than like um, getting mad drunk and just the next morning, like oh, oh my god, oh yeah, god, fucking, yeah, I'm an idiot. Yeah, there's never <laughs> like you never feel like you were right the next day. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I want to bring up a pussy prison. Pussy prison. Okay. Yeah. It's like Animal House. It's a movie idea. And it's Animal House mixed with Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> but it's like basically the ma- the, ma- oh, the male prison is full. Yeah. And these two boys have to go to an all female prison. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this is good. good. Yeah. Good so far. Good premise. Yeah. I love that. It. Oh, I almost want to hear more. <laughs> oh, okay. So they go to... Um, they go to an all female prison and they it's just like a, a romp, like college romp, like pussy fest. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there like a equivalent character to Red? I don't know who Red is. He's uh Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh. I remember the day Andy Dufresne walked into Shawshank. That's all I can do. But um yeah, no no no. I forgot about that movie. I don't like that movie. <sighs> yeah, it's I, I used to think it was really good. It's okay. Yeah, it's like before you go to film school, you're, you're everyone's yeah. like, all right, dude, Flight Club, Donnie Darko, and fucking Shawshank, Shawshank. are my favorite movies. <laughs> yeah. And then you go there, and all of a sudden, you're fucking like, I'm into French um, expressionism now. Really? Yeah. I saw 400 blows. <laughs> yeah. I blew 400 kids. I did 400 blows. <laughs> More <laughs> night. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, man. Oh, you know, the best, like, I... I remember, like, for a while, you could, like, blow people's minds by telling them that was a Stephen King adaptation. Really? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> well, yeah. Because I guess people, um, they always, you know, people just think horror. Yeah. They associate yeah. Him with horror. So, you when you tell them, like, did you know that Stephen King also wrote that, The Green Mile and Stand By Me? And they're like, what? No. Those aren't scary movies. <laughs> I'm like, I know. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> Man, Stand By Me might be one of the my favorite movies. Yeah, movie rocks. I remember when the scene where you, the kids get the leeches on their penis. I used to oh, love yeah. that scene, dude. Yeah, it seems wicked. I've we- I had a fucking um, uh, I just this, this memory. It always reminds me of Stand by Me, where me and my uh, friends when we were young, we were like in the middle of the street, and this mouse like ran by, and uh, we started chasing it, and it was like almost having a seizure, and it all of a sudden killed over on the sidewalk. And a fucking tapeworm or something like burst out of its stomach and slithered down the street. Oh my god, a fucking, fucking parasite? Hor- yeah, it's horrific. You should have caught that parasite and nurtured it and see what it turned into. It's like a Pokemon, dude. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> yeah, I should have put like a nice claw, like an ET outfit on it. He's a dragon air, dude. Could have yeah. been a dragon air. <clears throat> I um, remember my uh, my terrifying. black friend, his uh, his mom. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> The story's already bullshit. Is that why you're allowed to say the N word, dude? <laughs> well, his mom, there, she found a mouse uh, in her like living room, and she put it in a. I guess it's not relevant that, that he's black, but um. yeah, if you had to throw it out there just for uh, <laughs> it's a detail, just, just so you seem cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like she, nobody, you nobody's ever like, oh, my Chinese buddy. <laughs> it's like they. Just, actually, I'd, I'd probably do that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my white buddy. Yeah, my white buddy. You just sound like a white supremacist. Like, oh, yeah, my white buddies. I was hanging out with all my white buddies. All my white buddies. Yeah, there were about 15 of us white buddies. <laughs> we were just getting together. We were just hanging out at uh, out front of Tim Hortons, showing off our Honda Civics. <clears throat> so what happened with your black buddy? Oh, uh, uh, no, his mom like threw the mouse in a fucking pillowcase and smashed it with a hammer. Why? To kill it. <laughs> <laughs> such a waste of a pillowcase dude <laughs> i'm thinking about pillowcases here i don't know why i've been thinking about all these childhood stories well as we were talking about stand by me and it, may, it does make me right. it makes it you remember all like the because i remember <clears throat> me and uh me and my friend jake you know jake and uh we were walking we were walking on the bruce trail we were we were kids and we came across like what seemed to be like a makeshift shelter for like a homeless person <laughs> And, okay. uh, but he wasn't there. Yeah. And so we found like his butane lighter fluid and he had a pair of overalls and he had a couple cans of tomato paste and, um, some like Pokemon cards from like a children's binder. I don't know. That's all. He had a, po- he had a binder full of Pokemon cards. Yeah. They weren't rares though. I checked. Yeah. <laughs> there were no shadowless holograph cards, dude. <laughs> so but we proceed like we're you know instead of like having empathy or anything we proceeded to like douse his overalls in the lighter fluid oh and just God. light his pants on fire oh <laughs> and then God. we smashed we smashed his cans of tomato paste <laughs> holy shit and uh i think we left the pokemon cards yeah because, well you know, you know, it's you probably can, like his kid is like his kids like dad before you go i want you to have these so you remember me <laughs> And the wife is like, take the fucking tomato paste too, you fucking bum. <laughs> and he's like, he lost everything. <laughs> and he well, just goes up. He's like, oh, at least I got my, at least I got, got my rare holograms, hologram yeah. cards. He's like, no, someone took my Charizard, dude. <laughs> That's no. fucked. You really yeah. uh, ruined. I wonder how, where's, how he's doing now. <laughs> that was my stand by me, dude. <laughs> yeah. Instead of going to find a dead body, I was going to fuck up some homeless man's life. Yeah, you were going to. Yeah, you probably killed him. It was, yeah, he probably saw that and he was like, fuck this, man. Nobody wants me alive. Maybe it pushed him to get a job or something. Yeah. And that man was Jeff Levi's, Bezos. Levi's yeah. jeans. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff Bezos. Dude. That's a way better example than mine. Yeah. <laughs> I literally just said a pair of jeans. Yeah. You didn't even, yeah, that was not even a human being. I know. I can't think. I'm stupid, dude. I'm really dumb right now. <laughs> Well, oh, good stuff. <clears throat> I think it's going well. We've done 30 minutes, I think. Uh, yeah, something like that. That's yeah. all right. Well, this is mostly just a test run, you know. Yeah, this is a test run. Well, we're still putting it out. Yeah, you're going to cut out that. Waste. You're going to cut out that part where you talk about your mom being a QAnon person? Uh, you cut this out too? <laughs> <laughs> no, I might cut it. I might, <laughs> I might cut out the story, the story, the story of my black friend. <laughs> It's not, it's not <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know, we should like. I want to play it back before, like, because there's definitely gonna, you know. I yeah, mean, we can touch it up. Yeah, I'm super self conscious about being too rude or offensive now. I don't know why. Yeah, me. Yeah, me too. Well, yeah, kind of. It's the climate we live in. Yeah, you know. But I also know, no, like, not many people are gonna listen. Boys out of there. Yeah, I think it'll be better once he's out. Like, Sorry, I think. I'm sipping water. Yeah, it's okay. I think it'll be, be. Yeah, can you not hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I lost you for a sec. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, that is a little weird. What were you doing? I don't know. The fuck were you doing? The fuck were you doing? You uh, I think now? it's going to be the climate will be better, I think. <clears throat> it felt people oh, were uh, celebrating uh, like in Toronto, like I was hearing uh, people were honking their horns. Oh yeah, we're, did you notice that? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I, that's kind of um right when I read the news, I was hearing it outside. Um, this is nice. 
That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I saw like all over the world. Like, imagine Trump. Like, imagine how he feels about just everybody I had celebrating. The, yeah, I had the gayest dream. I don't know why I had this dream. Like, where people were just bullying him, and he was like crying, and I felt <laughs> I, I felt bad for him. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> well, it's like it, I imagine like either he is like completely a narcissist and doesn't give a fuck he's a hundred percent yeah but i you just gotta assume that it does get to him because apparently he throws like temper tantrums and stuff like a little kid yeah so I can, must, well, yeah definitely it uh, must for, that him. personality type i think yeah you have a frail uh ego i sometimes yeah. think about that with um mark zuckerberg and like i mean it's so crazy to even think this because he's a billionaire but at the same time i wonder like Man, does it ever get to him? Like, people don't even think he's human. Like, he looks so <laughs> fucked up that people are just, like, calling him a robot with no... I don't know. Yeah, he looks like a fucking... Yeah, like a weird looks like robot. like Data. I mean, I imagine people were probably calling him that before he invented Facebook, too. You know what I mean? I, I don't think... No, because he, he looked, like, somewhat... If you go back, he, he looked normal. Like, his skin tone... Uh, I, it's all the baby blood he's drinking. I, I bet you when... Uh, the social network came out and um, Jesse Eisenberg portrayed him. He was like, yeah, that's that's more what I'm that's like. That's me. I'm, I'm like that. I'm like actor uh, Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> this is yeah. a good uh, interpretation of me. Yeah. I like that video of him talking about smoking meat. That's <laughs> uh, the f- fucking best. <laughs> There's like a super cut of just him talking about it. He's like, yeah, we smoke some meat. Yeah, we're just smoking meat. <laughs> yeah. That uh, YouTube channel, I love the animate animation one, Unami. Unami. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he d- he did like a wicked rendition of it. It's so fucking good. I think it does, he's not even talking about specific types of meat. He's just talking about meat in general. Well, he's talking about brisket. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, and and sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got sweet baby rays, dude. Yeah, and then he has like two clearly like just yes men who are friends with him because he's a billion like sitting beside him. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, like Facebook employees. That's yeah. good. Smoking meat. Smoking meats. Yeah. So someone one like- time said I looked like him and it that you like to think that's one of those things that lives rent free and so that it like <laughs> fucked it me. Bug you? Yeah, someone in a bar was like, All right, Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, ah, fuck. And I was like, I hope he because the social network just came out. I was like, yeah. if I look like Jesse Eisenberg, I can live with that. I can't live with the alternative. You know what's so funny? When I was in like Grade eight, people were like, Oh, you look like, um, oh, fuck, who's the guy from that 70s show? I don't know, which, uh, Topher Grace? No, the one that's married to the chick now is like a tech boy. He, like, undercover. oh, well, yeah, what he, is like, his name? He did punked, right? <laughs> yeah, Ash- yeah, Ashton Kutcher. I don't know why I Ashton on that. Kutcher, yeah, people yeah. said he looked like Ashton Kutcher. And I would be like, oh, no. But I'd be like, oh, at least he's cute. He's a handsome handsome. guy. Yeah, Yeah, he's a cute fucking guy. Yeah, and he's um, one of the only cast members who isn't a rapist. (laughs) (laughs) But then, and now nobody says I look like anybody. (laughs) I think it's like I've outgrown like any like kind of like cute guy comparisons. I'm waiting for when I get like, you look like Rodney Dangerfield. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah, that's what you think now, right? <laughs> yeah, already. I went, yeah. I went from Kutcher to fucking Dangerfield, and you know what? I'm okay with that. That's okay. If I could uh, look like one and and you know be funny like the other, that'd be yeah. Cool. I like the idea of people thinking you look barely like anything, and you're just fading away. Yeah, you don't look like anything. <laughs> you look. I can. You're trans. I can see through you. Yeah, yeah. You don't even look like matter anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I used That's to be sick. very opaque. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Things are taking a turn for the worst. Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm hoping this is rock bottom because if I, I oh, hit rock man, bottom, you're okay. I still got terrariums, right? <laughs> yeah. I can't be doing too bad. I changed my mind. You're, yeah, this is rock bottom. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm taking care of fucking isopods. I literally, I have this because I just transferred a bunch of uh, isopods, like also known as potato bugs. Or whatever you call them, and um, I transferred these like blue and orange ones, these tropical ones I had to my main terrarium, and yeah. then I thought I had it all. But then last night I came down here and I looked at the jar that I had emptied them out of, mm-hmm. and I realized there was one left in there, this baby one. 
and just by himself in this barren abyss of a jar with just dirt and like maybe Whoa. a couple twigs in it. And I was like, man, this guy's got to be so depressed. Holy fuck. <clears throat> he just got stripped from his family. And yeah, <laughs> everything. Like, yeah, he's got nothing left. I even took the leaf out of there that they that it would eat so the other ones could eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe anyway. it was a nice uh, respite. Maybe he didn't like his uh, fellow potato bugs. Yeah, he didn't like him very much. He How was, many terrariums uh, you got going now? You have a few. One, this is going to be a terrarium podcast. I'm looking at him right now. Uh, you should do terrarium ASMR. I got six. Nice. Yeah. Dude, I'm so bad at keeping plants. Like the two I, the three I have are barely a lot. I guess it's because I'm in a basement, but. Yeah. And they're plastic too. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why those are fucking dying. (laughs) Shit. Yeah. No, I like, uh, you know, I think, you know how everybody's like, I'm developing new uh, fun skills and hobbies during COVID-19. Yeah. 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 Mine was like, I'm going to be like a plant daddy. You know what I mean? Because I feel like it just looks cool when a man is into plants. Yeah. Everyone who said that was lying. They were just getting the free Pornhub subscription and yeah. Jerking off as much as possible. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. The movement. (laughs) You never, yeah. You never got work off. You're an essential worker. No. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, I'm essentially doing a fucking dead end job. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. No, but yeah, like I, I like terrarium. I like it. It's like a self sustainable ecosystem. It's pretty cool. I'm, yeah. I'm always. I I don't know what that is. I like, uh, like modeled, like miniature things. Yeah, exactly. I try to I'm make them look that. like they're like if you took a little piece of the forest. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just kept it in a jar. But it's been it's interesting. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you're really good at it. I, I love uh, looking at oh, all the things you. you create. It's very nice. Oh, that's so nice of you, buddy. Yeah. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build you one someday or give you one of mine. Yeah. What'll be in it? Cum. Pop. Just all my <laughs> hot cum. <laughs> <clears throat> you got to keep it hot. All the, You got to keep it on like one of those, one of those like poor people, like poor ki- college. Like a hot plate? <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. yeah. You got to keep it on a hot plate so it's bubbling. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, and it's like a lava lamp. Yeah, we'll keep some like slugs in there too. And they'll ah. just live in, in like a cum pond. Uncut black slugs. Uncut black slugs living in living in a hot cum pond, brother. <laughs> <laughs> just steeping in my cum. <clears throat> yeah. So we'll get you one. I would love one. I should start making one. I do have a glass bottle to do it. Yeah, it's so easy to do, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, <clears throat> but I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh yeah. Yeah, what you're doing to my little pussy is delicious. The way you're sucking it and fucking it, you're making me come. Oh, you've already made me come four times, and I'm 73 years old, but I I feel like a teenager when you slurp on my clitty, twerk on my titties. Yes, you make me sing. Oh, I wish I was a grandmother, but I never had children, so I'm just an old lady, and I know I'm so horny all the time. So I listen to Butt Boys Radio, and it makes my little pussy so wet just to hear these handsome boys talk about dog shit all day. Oh, thank you, Butt Boys. I'll always listen to you. Man, we've almost come up on a yeah. Where, where are we at? We're at. A, I should set a timer. I think we're at forty-five minutes here. That's good. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, we're at more. We're at fifty. Holy fuck! Yeah. That are you f- kidding me? No, that flew by. I thought it'd be. Like, I was so nervous. I thought it would Once be like had- a chore to. I was like, no. God, do I know? It's like going on a date. Like, and <laughs> like how can I stretch? <laughs> I gotta like, talk to this guy for fucking hour. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna. What we'll do is we'll start um, doing a little more planning, and I want to do like ideally, I'd like to do some sketch stuff and like kind of try and make this a little bit of a variety show. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. So for anyone listening, that's what this will. This is kind of a test run. This will turn into. There'll be a little more production, and we'll yeah. have uh, segments. We'll have probably recurring bits and 
Yeah, I'm hoping to yeah. even, like you said, like do like a little radio play or something like that. Yeah, exactly. And it might change. It might be like a revolving door of just ideas, but it'll be kind oh. of freeform conversation like this couched with some kind of nice quality bits. Should be good. Quality, 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 humor. quality. Hey, uh, does this mute button work? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it works. works. <laughs> yeah. Hey, see, this is a great fucking <laughs> podcast. You gotta tune in. <laughs> What a fucking hilarious thing, yeah, to try midway I'm already, through. <laughs> I'm already doing bits. I'm already doing them, bud. Yeah, can I turn this mic off? Hold on, let's see how... <laughs> yeah, it works. <laughs> oh, yeah, my so God. That's our first bit. That's the bit number one of Bit the number podcast. one, throw it on the fucking list. There's going to be a lot more, but that's the first. That's the first. I would like, first. not to be too cum towny, but... I do want to get like a soundboard or something. Yeah. Well, that's not, I mean, they don't have, they don't own soundboard. That's been happening for a while. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You know, yeah. it's just, I just want, I want him to see if we can do a mix between like dumb shock jock bullshit. Yeah. Mix with like some quality production, like sketches and stuff. Yeah. hundred you percent. Know? No, I want to do, so one idea, I, we should just hash out ideas. Um, yeah, yeah. So the rest of this, the rest of this podcast is going to be what we're. Yeah. How much better it will be? Yeah, it's a pre-production meeting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, no, I do, yeah, I'll get a uh, a soundboard, and um, yeah, we can do like an old. What one idea I had is like an old timey radio segment, and you can uh, narrate some sort of story, and I'll do like live sound effects with the soundboard oh like a foley like yes. while the story's being while read? the story yeah so i won't like do on it the f- off the floor off the fly yeah oh my goodness that sounds awesome yeah sounds so i like- won't even touch it in post i'll just see what i can you know i'll just improvise it while you're narrating like a story that's a great idea have some yeah. musical cues at the beginning i can pretend i'm like an old-timey guy yeah fuck yeah i always wanted to do that like i met a guy who um is uh, like some jazz musician and he was like very uh i think he hosts like a show on uh what is it 91.1 jazz fm yeah and i told him about an idea i had for like old time radio plays i was gonna produce new ones and he's like oh well send me what you got and i just never did because <laughs> i just get scared of like doing things i actually want to do because i yeah. feel like i don't know i guess i'm scared of fucking up or people not appreciating it but yeah, yeah. it's a real thing definitely that's oh so it's real baby i thought that yeah. story was gonna go anywhere but nowhere <laughs> i've done that so many times like i met uh rapper fat tony and i was like oh dude like i want to like i should get your email we can talk about you know houston hip-hop yeah he's like yeah man sure let's do it and so i emailed him and then he emailed me back like a big fucking email that was like actually had like a bunch of good stuff and like it seemed like he wanted to continue a conversation and i just choked and decided i was like i'm never gonna talk to him. i fucking ghosted him dude <laughs> hell yeah ghosted fat tony oh i'm sorry i just cho- <laughs> yeah you, just, you you tested what happened there are you drinking <laughs> i'm doing a bit i just choked on my own spit dude <laughs> I got the f- I got COVID, brother. Did you really just choke on your own spit? Yeah, that was brutal. That's not good radio. <laughs> <laughs> that is not good radio, dude. This is the kind of quality content you're going to be getting when listening to the Butt Boys podcast. Welcome to the 30 second coughathon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, that's some padding. That's that's about two more minutes. Can I do a couple seconds of uh, women uh, moaning because they're getting having good sex? Sure. Just a couple seconds. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, 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 yeah, oh yeah, fuck me, fuck me, pussy. That's it. That's it. That's good. Sorry, you can cut that out, there. <laughs> no, I'm keeping that in. Keep that, keep that in the vault. <laughs> yeah. No, that's staying. The one thing about this is I I want to do as little work with it as well. Not not to say I don't want to do any work. I don't want to edit too much <laughs> you don't want to do it yeah i get it dude this yeah. is like this should be something that is not it's gonna be it doesn't require know, a lot of post yeah it's gonna be rough around the edges hopefully in a decent way yeah but you know I, now that i got audacity and stuff i can record my own shit my own bits too and send yeah. it to you and you can throw them in whatever you see fit you know definitely definitely and it's like if we have bits that are already on the like on the board like ready to go we can record intros for them too you know yeah 100 percent. yeah and anyone listening the few people who still watch our shit on our YouTube channel, uh, 
Um, yeah. Yeah. Throats. If you have any ideas, I don't suck know. Suck my fucking dick. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Suck my dick. Don't ever watch my shit again, <laughs> you cock sucking pigs. Yeah. You barely helped the champ. You didn't, you know, we should have more. Yeah, man. But, you know, I appreciate. Yeah. It wasn't really with Kimmy Pisser, dude. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I don't know. I just said a bunch of gibberish and then Kimmy Pisser. Kimmy Pisser. No, but cool. seriously, if anyone has any ideas, just, I don't know. We're still figuring out what this fucking thing will be. Yeah, it's going to be sick. Yeah. Man, I got my room set up like a fucking disco looks, cave down here. It looks good, man. Yeah, I like, I really want you, mood lighting. You'd hardly know your life is falling apart. <laughs> it's like, when I make my bed, I'm like, I can take a convincing picture that this just looks like my bachelor pad, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if it's like a video, you hear my mom being like, Eli, do you want some pasta? <laughs> oh, my roommate made me pasta. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bunking with... I'm, I'm rooming with uh, this 50-year-old woman. 50? How old's your mom? I just realized I have no fuck. That fell 60, flat. I don't know how old she is. 62? 63? Oh, she looks good for age. <laughs> okay, don't get any ideas, buddy. All right. Don't get any ideas, yourself. I can... It too can play that game, fella. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, you Nobody's having my, my Don't covet thy buddy's mom. <laughs> yes. The, the, <laughs> that's a good uh, um, bookend. Don't covet thy bros, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made up a joke. I don't know if I, I can't remember if I told you it, but it's really shitty. Go ahead. Um, is your bitch Doctor Strange? Because I just made her Benedict come a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I actually like that a lot. Yeah, it's probably it's probably already been written by somebody. Yeah, it's someone on Community probably already wrote that. Fucking I know it is like kind of a joke like that, eh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like Rob Riggle would say it or something. Yeah. <laughs> Some shitty no, it's comedian. Good. It's good. <clears throat> yeah, it's that's all right. <clears throat> all right. Well, I think so we we did an hour. Yeah, all close to it. You know what I mean? Fifty-eight minutes. That's not bad. Uh, once we throw our fucking ten-minute intro song and our yeah. five-minute outro song, you know, yeah. you know, I might even uh, spend some time. Like, if I might spend some time and record some um, more Bit, stuff bits. For it. Yeah, sure. And then, okay, if if there's something you like, I can uh, I can edit out a. S- I'll edit out a section of this and yeah, uh, edit out the part bit. where, uh, you know, I did the whole Nazi thing. That was a dis- that yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, that's gone. That was a little fucked up, I guess, yeah, you know, yeah. but I'm kind of going through some tough shit right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been watching, uh, uh, oh fuck. What is the movie? American history act. Just the, op- I've been watching the first 30 minutes of American history. Just Acts. the one scene. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> I remember I said that joke at work, and now one I appreciated it. Oh fuck! You're doing a bit. I thought you, I thought you were just telling a story. I no, that up. no. The bit was I, I. American History X is a great movie, but I've only seen the first twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's it. an okay joke. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just a little quick uh, that the movie Stand by Me. My favorite part about Stand by Me is when Will Wheaton's character tells the guy, "Suck my left one, you cheap dime store hood." Fuck, that is a good line. Yeah, man, that's a fucking really good thing to say to somebody. Who does he say that to? Uh, Kiefer Sutherland, I think. Oh, okay. He's got the knife, and he's like, "You better watch what you say, buddy." You better watch. And he what has you that because he. It, but Will Wheaton pulls the gun on him. And he's pointing oh, it at that's him. That's right, 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 right. And then he's Fuck. got the fucking nuts to say some shit like that to Kiefer. That's a Stephen King book too, right? <clears throat> yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. It's he's probably, so good. He's great at that. Yeah, man. Um, you remember, have you ever seen that video of uh, Kiefer Sutherland drunk as fuck jumping into a Christmas tree? No. <laughs> it's like a paparazzi taking a video. And he's like, hey, watch this. <laughs> and he just turns around and jumps into a Christmas tree and knocks it over and knocks all the Christmas bulbs all over the place. <laughs> and you, you can see his gut and stuff. And he's just like a fucking total party pig. That's sick. It's like... Was Jackass like coming out around that time or something? What was he doing? I, yeah. Oh, I'm Kiefer Sutherland. This is Christmas tree jump. <laughs> what was your? I know that we were talking about this is kind of a riff off of the it's pretty much plagiarizing that Come Town bit, but the the Bear March. I don't know if you want to say it. We can cut it out. The Bear March era. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Oh, well, I know you remember. <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe we should wrap it up for now. And then yeah. um, I'm going to play it back immediately because I love hearing my own shit. Yeah, yeah. Listen to it all day. Tell me. This is mostly think. for me and you. Yeah, exactly. I just want an excuse to talk to you. 
once yeah. a week. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, you just want to reconnect with me and make sure I'm doing all right. Yeah, yeah. This was a ruse. To, it's like a suicide watch ruse. <laughs> <laughs> He's my suicide policeman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm doing yeah. all right. Don't worry. I'm about sending that. this to the psychologist right after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck, this guy's fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, dude. Everything's good. I'm really happy to be uh, doing this, and uh, yeah, I'm man. excited to keep going. And people listening, uh, if you made it this far, uh, we have a new project coming that looks, yeah. that we're very stoked about. But let's just say, it'll be a bit, it'll still take a bit yet, but it's coming. Let's just say your car. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, your car. <laughs> your fucking car, idiot. Get used yeah. to it. Um, no, I'm very excited for that. I want to work on that this week. I know yeah. this podcast now has just become like what we could be doing, not actually what we are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we're gonna, I worked on it a bit this weekend and I'm going to be working on it this week. Yeah. It's, it's coming. It's almost there. We'll have like, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can have it done in the month, within the month. Um, yeah, man. Episode one. And then hopefully they should come out a lot sooner. Yep. I got to yep. get to work this week on that shit. I'm going to try and be productive boy. Because yep. literally I've just been sitting around. Jerking off, laying in the dark a lot this weekend. <laughs> All year. It's so crazy because I, I, when I was like in grade eight, I used to just jerk off so much my dick would be like scabbing up and hurting. Yeah, and I, th- I did I that like, recently. I thought my the, like that was behind me and no, fuck no, man. I literally, no, I see a pair of tits you. on Reddit and I have to jerk <laughs> off. It sucks. Oh my, the, uh, that's the, yeah, when, you, when you're just scrolling, like you see something faintly sexual. Yeah, like even even a little bit. Yeah, you know? I, I saw. Uh, no, nah, actually, never mind. I'm not going to say that. You saw a man <laughs> giving fucking <laughs> blowjobs to another man. Yeah, and I liked it. You liked it on Facebook. <clears throat> yeah, I like no, it on I LinkedIn. Like, I always <laughs> a LinkedIn, bro. I always. Um, after right after i finish i immediately close my browser and like go on like you know like metacritic yeah 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 i, man, <laughs> I always try is... to get the porn off as soon as possible and, like, i used throw... this is so fucked up i used to uh on reddit i would immediately switch over to like watch people die <laughs> <laughs> i wish i could say that was a bit <laughs> Oh man, didn't we have that uh, idea where it's like a porno, where it's like a guy watching porno, but the mute, the the sound is like a beheading video from yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Live yeah, Leak. Yeah. He can't like he misplaces tabs like on his Chrome browser and it's like cycling through them. Yeah, so it'd be yeah. like a woman giving a blowjob, but it, it sounds like. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> You're gonna hear a lot of uncut, uh, cut, like shit we that stayed in the vault that we never made. Uncut reason. shit from cut boys. Are you cut? Are you cut? I'm cut. I'm cut. I'm cutting. I'm cut. I've been cutting a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things are pretty good. I'm doing cutting. <laughs> Bloodletting. <laughs> no, I like the idea of just cutting like like cardboard paper with scissors. Oh, yeah. I've been just do- doing yeah. snow, ma- snow uh, flakes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was just thinking about some dumb shit, dude. Well, yeah, like a cutter, I guess, right? Yeah, cutter, dude. No, I like that he's not even cutting snowflakes. He's just cut like arbitrarily cutting card ba- uh, cardboard uh, or what the fuck is it called? Uh, paper. paper. <laughs> 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 what is that shit, dude? <laughs> paper. I forget. What is that? <laughs> no, I miss paper, dude. Bristol miss- board. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, fuck yeah. I remember doing projects on Bristol board. Yeah. You fucking good. whip out the glitter pens. Yeah, man. I used Remember to hide what? my, uh, the lack of work I do. Yeah. Glitter pens. Oh yeah. Just bullshit. Just yeah. stack your shit <laughs> with like colors and drawings and just do the least amount of writing. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. That's what I used to do too. <clears throat> I, uh, I miss those days. Anyways. <sighs> Anyways. You want to uh, wanna call it a fucking day? Yeah. Let's call it a day. It's good. One hour and five minutes. <laughs> it's a fucking marathon, people. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Oh, thank God we made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glad to glad the fucking sound is off. Now I can talk about how I really feel. How I really feel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, dude. All right, dude. All right. Uh, thanks for listening. Yeah. Everybody. I'm gonna just stop. I'm gonna stop recording. Uh, we'll be putting these out weekly, by the way. 